Hello, I'm Andy Newman, Fixture Tooling Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco. Today's video is going to show you a very valuable tool in the world of PowerMax, and that's the Trace. I'm going to show you some of the functions and features of the Trace in Tools Talk PowerMax. Here you can see the desktop of Tools Talk PowerMax. We have the icon up here for Trace. When we click on that, that's going to open up the Trace window. As a default, it'll probably be showing you the last trace that the PowerMax run. We can also do some choices here where we can look at the latest, the latest OK, the latest not OK, or we can select the trace. So a picture is often worth a thousand words, and this allows us to select which picture we would like to see. So we're going to go to Selected, and that will bring up a list of all the tightenings that are currently in the TC. And we'll bring up this one here. And now we can see that we're looking at a torque versus angle trace. We can change the axis, so let's change the bottom to time. Now we're looking at a torque versus time trace. So we can change what appears on each of the axes. We can take each section of the, the trace and we can zoom in on it and get a better view of what's actually going on in the fastening cycle. We can also get additional information by placing our cursor on the trace and telling it to show details. And now we can get real time where are we are in stepwise, torque wise, and angle wise. And we can move that cursor around the trace, seeing how the values change as we get to different points of the trace. So again, the zoom is one of the valuable trace tools. We can right click on the trace, take us back to our original. And if we go up to view, and say advanced, we then have the show option, which gives us some other things that we can do to the trace. So view, advanced, show, and now we have other things that we can select. So we can see the fail safe limits. We can see the restrictions. We can see the checks. And again, those are going to be overlaid on the trace that we currently have. We can look at individual steps of the trace. So here we're going to look at only step two, and now we can look at only step three. So a real valuable tool for seeing what's going on in your fastening. Again, we're going to right click and turn off show single step to go back to our entire trace with it showing us the limits that we have overlaid on top of that. Another thing that we can do is we can show multiple traces on the screen at the same time. So if we go up to View and say Selected, we then get a list of all the traces on the, in the TC. We can select up to 20 of those traces. Here I'm going to pick four. And all four of those traces get laid over the top of each other. And we can see that if we're running the same joint, we pretty much get the same performance every single time. We can take those traces and we can print them to a PDF. So we can print them out in a PDF format and change to share that with customers. We can save them on the TC. So if we say save on TC, now when we go to view, selected, you'll see this little S indicating that those traces are currently saved on the TC so we can come back and look at them later. We can also go trace, save to file. And there we can save the trace, call it whatever we want, and store it wherever we want. So in this case, we'll just throw them on our desktop into a folder. And this will save the trace as a TRC file that we can open again with Tools Talk Power Max and manipulate just like we're doing in this video. We can also take that trace and we can open files. So if we have saved traces, we can open traces that are saved as files. So here we have the trace that we just saved. We can open that, and now we can see that trace and manipulate that trace by zooming it and doing all our other things, putting our cursor on it, seeing the values. And again, by right-clicking, we go back to the original thing. So trace, powerful little tool, very flexible, lets you see what's actually happening in your fastening as well as the data 
we have the trays. I hope this video was helpful. Any further questions, please contact your Atlas Copco representative. Thanks.